Hey guys, welcome to my sort of newish series. It's sort of just redstone tutorials. So you probably see in the um name it'll be it'll have a how to tag on it. But um the name of this is going to be Ready for Redstone. So welcome to Ready for Redstone. So basically, I'm gonna go over the basic redstone tool, or well, basically the redstone items and stuff like that. Now we're just gonna turn it on peaceful. Okay, so this what I've got in here, in my hand here, is redstone. Right click to place it on the ground. Okay, that's pretty much all for now. Okay, what we got here is a redstone repeater. Right click to place that on the ground, and it just sits there, right? Now we're gonna go over what that does in a minute. So. That's your redstone right now. Okay. So here we got here is a lever or a button or a, or any of the two pressure plates. Okay. With a lever, to put it on the wall of something on the top of something on the ground or in the next um Minecraft patch one point three you'll be able to put it on the roof roof but anyway right click it and it'll turn the redstone on with a button it can only go on the sides it'll send out a one second pulse stone pressure plate I mean, wooden pressure plate. It gets activated by mobs and items. Then the stone pressure plate. You can only get activated by mobs. Okay. Now, this here is a redstone torch. It just turns a constant power source. Now. It can also be used to invert the signal. So when powered, it will turn the redstone torch will turn off. So when receiving power, it turns off and turns back on. Okay. So I said I was gonna explain what this does. Okay. So in Minecraft, you have time called ticks. Now, I think it was 8 ticks in a second or something like that. Or 10 ticks in a second. And this extends it by one tick. Just how it is. Okay. Right click it and it'll go through stages. This is two ticks. So, notice the delay. And then three ticks. And then four ticks. But not only this, but you can daisy chain it. So that'll be a full second. So we're going to be using the lever and the button. Now, there's two items that can be used in a lot of things. It's the pistons, I mean the sticky pistons, and the pistons. Now, yeah. I'll go over what these do now. Okay, so right there is the sticky piston, right there is the normal piston. 
Way power it. But like, don't push up. Yeah, the sticky piston. It's sticky, so whenever it pulls down or pulls back, whenever it retracts, it'll pull the block back. Now the normal piston just extends. Yeah, here's something that took me a while to understand myself. But here it is. Simply set up for you guys. Now, I'm not going to be showing you anything too fancy. That's something that I just did. Push the block back down. So, push up, push back down. Yeah. I think it's, um, yeah. Only if it's going in, or if it's directly next to the block, will it, like the redstone, will it, will the piston be powered? So just remember that. If it's not connected up to it, it will not work. So push this up to there. That's something that I had to get used to. So, there's our simple circuit. All it's doing now is putting this block, this stone block, we'll replace it with block of diamond and this block of diamond are the target blocks so essentially this will always be down here this will always be up here so buttons, levers, pressure plates and redstone torches are power blocks also, the redstone ore itself can be used to power redstone. I think. What did I get rid of that? Now they must have got rid of it. But it used to be used as a power source anyways and the redstone torch can be deactivated with power now we're gonna go into something a little bit harder okay so what you're gonna need is a piston a block of ju of your choice in this case we're going to use diamond blocks redstone torch repeaters are optional redstone and a button and a building block in this case we're going to use stone okay so right here you're going to break out this block Put a little um, torch there. Got to put the diamond over. Got to put your two pistons there. I think it's normal pistons. Now we'll figure it out. Then on top of the diamond board, you're going to put a stone block there and there. 
No, it is sticky pistons. Sorry. And then you're gonna put redstone across the top. Okay. And right here, it's gonna be where the power goes. Right here, we're gonna put another repeater. Blind P time set hour zero. P. There you go. This is going to be, if that's off, no, make it if it's on, then you know that that's outputting power. So, now that, and that'll change the power signal. Now, there's a reason for that, okay? When powered, you already know, torches will turn off. And torches, when above a piston, will power it. Okay? And if you have two pistons here, they're gonna turn off and on at the same time. So it'll sort of switch between spots. Now, that torch down there, power travels through certain blocks. Diamond blocks, um, most blocks actually, and that means that that torch will be sending power up through here and through the redstone, through the repeater, and into this stone block, which is which then, when the power's on, will power this torch and turn it off, turning that on, right? So that means. You'll have this on, this on, and this off. Okay? Now it's almost instant. Now then, you can cover it up. Now there's a reason I'm putting a repeater there, because I want it delayed an extra tick. I want it to be slower. So it says this is in your Minecraft home, that you say in this case is built out of stone. And you want this torch to turn on, or off. You can have it concealed behind here. Now you can hook this up to another block that they've got in Minecraft. Okay, TNT. I'll go through this just right now, quickly, while we can. If you place it down and power it with anything, it will ignite and blow up. So be careful when using TNT. Okay, dispensers. They can be powered and either drop an item out or shoot an arrow or snowball. Now this is a redstone lamp. What these can be used for is instead of having it turn on that um, redstone torch, you can have it turn on these lamps. Which, if you let me demonstrate, will do this upon activation. They will turn on. No more having to worry about if your house is bright enough at night time but dark enough at day.
There you go. Yeah. If you don't want it to be delayed that long, you can do this. Hopefully that still turns it all on. Yep. Now, half a tick after the you hear the pistons, these turn on, which is a good thing. Now, now that you know about that, you can set up certain things, such as what I'm about to show you. Actually, we need that stone, and we need this TNT, and we need this water, and we'll just use a sign. No. Use a fence, okay? There you go. Okay, so. Um, let's see. This is what we, we in the redstone business call a TNT or a redstone cannon. Okay, so that's where we're going to place a fence. Now there's a reason for that fence being there. It's just so that the TNT flies further. I'm going to fill this up. Yeah. When TNT is in water, it will not blow up the area around it. Which is the whole reason why this works how you want it to. Gonna put two ticks on all of these and then power it. Let's see what happens. Oh no. Oh no. That's not what we wanted. Seems it went through the fence. Now, that's one reason why instead of having a fence you'll want a fence with a pressure plate on it. So we'll just quickly rebuild that. Okay, so here's something you want to do instead because it's on a um damn I want to already sorry we need this one longer in which it'll also give it a gap which is something we wanted. This is where it's going to sit. Yeah, I'm just going to put this here for some extra detonation and power it. Now, yeah. if you want it to have less power, this is something you'll want it to do. It'll just fire off of itself. Now, that was a slight problem caused by me.
Uh, slightly. So basically, I think it was one of these was still in. But anyway, then you can start doing fancier stuff like adding a fence post to it. which makes it a bit more narrow. Now, what the pressure plate does is it just gives it that extra lift. I don't know why I built that. So, it'll travel, travel far and wide. See, it explodes about up here. And something you can also do is this. Have just the TNT eleva elevated a full block. And that'll blow up about here-ish. Which is something that you might want, but also not so much. Now, this is something I like building. Which is just full block up. And you guys, you may just see a bit of it. Thank you.